Thanks, Tom Cruise and the Church of Scientology, for your expert advice on mental health. Ellie Perkins was killed on March 13, 2003, by her schizophrenic son. She was told to treat him with nothing but vitamins instead of psychiatric care. Real effective, isn't it? Ellie Perkins was a dedicated Scientology believer who followed the church's guidelines to say no to medical and psychiatric practices. Therefore her schizophrenic son was prohibited from the medical treatment your average mental patient would fortunately receive. One day, her son's schizophrenia got to the best of him and he lashed out on her, resulting in a tragic bloodbath. Paying a ridiculous amount of price to believe into this religion ultimately pays off in the end, doesn't it? How many more lives must be claimed? Sean Lonsdale, a critic to this religion, was murdered two weeks ago in Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater is a city ran by the biggest Scientology headquarters, where the case is covered up by the police Scientologists. There will never be a proper investigation into this and so far, his death remains awfully suspicious to the public who is being suppressed of their free speech and muted from saying anything. We need to open up our eyes and see through these deadly lies.